Attackers of NLC President Joe Ajiru finally arrested in Imo State. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The General Media Nigeria reports that National Security Advisor Nova Ribadu on Wednesday said that some suspected political thugs that brutalized the National President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NOC, Joe Ajero, have been arrested. This online news platform earlier reported that the NOC President was attacked in Oriri, in the state capital, on November 1st when workers on the stage staged a protest, a protest over unpaid salaries. The NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC had declared nationwide strike demanding the arrest of suspected thugs and their sponsors. Following the commencement of the strike, which has relatively crippled economic activities in some parts of the country, Rivado, in a statement signed by the head of strategic communications in the office of a national security advisor, Sakedi Yu Minjuan Mijinyawa, urged the organized labor to halt the ongoing nationwide strike. He confirmed that some arrests have been made regarding the brutalization of the NLC president, pledging that the outcome of the investigation will be made known to the general public. The statement reads partly, the NSC is particularly worried about the implications of a strike action on the livelihood of ordinary Nigerians and its potential impact on economic security and other strategic national interests. The NSA regrets the incident and condemns in it its entirety as it was against the rule of law and the principles of freedom of association and expression sub subscribed to by President Bola Ahmed Tunubu and his administration. The federal government will never condemn such an act. As a fallout of the incident, relevant authorities were directed to conduct thorough investigation into the circumstances surrounding the assault and bring to book the culprit. Available update indicates that some arrests have already been made in this regard. The outcome of the investigation will be made public as soon as it is concluded. Huh. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we all know on November 1st, a tragedy was actually avoided, that was going to be avoided. Do you understand? Happened. Scamala, this clear claim arrest is a great scam because no name is mentioned. Everybody should turn and join the name of anyone arrested. The thing is, what they're trying to establish is that government cannot just come in and do anyhow they like. Do you understand? You can't come in and because you're the governor of a state or because you have rights to some things, you start using it to oppress people. Come on now. It doesn't work that way. It certainly does not work that way. Now, in brothers attacking for him state, case closed, Ajari can never call for a strike in this country again because he is playing politics with his office. Hmm. NLC has been bastardized by the executive, so if the so-called president of NLC knows what is good for him, this is an opportunity for total shutdown of this country until the right thing is done. My only even um, um, uh, anger is that they are coming out to, for only the wrong issues. As not that the wrong issues, they are coming out for just minor issues. Believe you me, Nigerians don't see Shigibanza. Nigerians are on the verge of, they want, if you tell them now how far, make on remain for us, make on go strike, they will go. Why? Because things are out of hand already. You know, this is not the matter of things that are getting out of hand. I'm going to be this man, no, to see face, the eye. To be sincere and honest, the perpetrators must not go scot free. That is how it is supposed to be done. I think what NLC is trying to establish is that you don't get to treat people like this and you expect no reaction. Do you understand? You don't get to treat people like this and at the end of the day, you expect no reaction. All right. The sponsor should be treated as criminals and if Uzodima is involved, his governorship should be nullified. He must state and the federal government should pay him 1 billion naira as compensation for assaulting NLC presidents. No, no, no. No, not at all. Now, wow. Arrested by who? How did they arrest? I know they arrested. We are the panel beaters. No be small question. Adara said he was arrested and panel beaten by the police after they tied him up. So why can't they say the truth for once? Because no arrest was made. They are just trying to 
suppress this matter, die the matter. Arrangement arrest. If they are serious, let them arrest Hopo Zodima because he is the father of the thugs. I did tell you. Now to arrest with the issue, jail them so next time they won't try it and they should come out police to confess to Nigerians who gave them the other sample. Jail them, how they how they use jail themselves? They are suspects and thugs, make them no worry. When our cops will full soon. How? Alright, as they told us that they have settled the issue between Nigeria and Dubai. Liars. <laughs> The only arrest that has, that has an impact on Nigerians is taking full back price. Then you will arrest this hardship, pain, and hunger in the land. Anything short of this is not accepted by us. Are they not lying to us? Let them show us where they face for confirmation. I kid you not. Mention their names and stop fooling Nigerians, Oga. Not until you mention names, we will not take you serious. Workers of him said have suffered a lot of unpaid salaries and necessary deductions. If you're in grade 11, if you're in grade level 10, GI 10 in Emma State, you receive the salary of a grade level 8 if you're lucky to even be paid. God bless Ajiru, NOC, and TUC. It, people should be aware of what is happening in Emma State. So many workers have not been paid for the past two years and more. Injury to our president is injury to all. Solidarity forever. Now, people are coming out to say what you are saying is not true. Please tell us the ministry in your state or local government area that is being owed any salary arrears. Mention need to stop deceiving people and spreading lies. The only people owed salaries arrears are federal government workers paid by the federal government and not by the state government. Hmm. Okay. You are... <laughs> Hold on. Why the attack? Joe Ajero went for political campaign for the Liberal Party governorship candidate. That is not true. Athol Nachon against the state government and got attacked by political thugs. He should have been prepared for that. That is not true. That is not true at all. That's not how he chose it. All right. So it is not true that Joe Ajero went for political campaign no 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 it is not true they went to stage a protest hmm? once you stage a protest for so yes it is not that he went to it, it is not like he went to do something else all right on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for sending in to listen until i come here next time enjoy the rest of your day